These are by our sinister states, the sin states of the soul. And the meditation is the beginning part to try to, to remove our sinister behavior or minimize them uh, so that we can develop a much larger relationship, a closer relationship with God. And this is seen by other uh, uh, ascetics. These are, the, these are the people who go out and live in the deserts and do various different harsh things. They have the same understanding, but they're much further along. And they're actually walking and talking with the saints. They, they, they see the saints. They don't, need the, they don't really need the icons because the, the saints are there with them. Uh, we need the icons because this is what we can, we're spiritually blind and we, we need these to see. But some people have the spiritual sight back again, they have their spiritual ears back again, and they have a spiritual mouth back again so they can see, hear, and talk to uh, the spiritual family. So, but the thing is, the beginning stages are this. It's this, you know, uh, using the uh, meditation methods to understand something better, understanding it more, by getting rid of some of your own uh, sinister behaviors like, like pride, your ego, your, your ego. Uh, these things all block what you call enlightenment. So anyways, uh, I'm going to leave that here for now and I'll see you uh, in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory RL BTS Vlogs. Oh, I almost forgot. Time and date stamp. It is still Tuesday, April 5th, 2016, but it is now uh, 14 hours and 15 minutes into the day of Tuesday, April 5th, 2016. All right, take it easy. Well, now is as good a time as any to vlog. Uh, so let me give you a time and date stamp. It is... Three hours and 13 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, uh, April 6th, 2016. Yeah, that's the date. <laughs> I was going to try to look it up there. I can see the time, but I can't see the date. It's not popped up, and the computer's doing busy doing something else right now. Uh, so actually, I'm copying over from the editing bay. I'm copying over uh, four more episodes up to episode 25 is now done. It's rendered, so I'm bringing it over now so I can do the uh, description right up and, and put the title on it. And then uh, it goes over to the upload computer to uh, be uploaded. So, get something to drink. I'm watching uh, now. I'm going through my uh, version version 1.4.1 of uh, my Open IP TV uh, uh, TV guide and um, channel selector. It's a lot more functional now than it was before. <laughs> so I just now finished. I watched one episode of Shade Tired. Now I'm going to watch another episode. But, uh, of Shade Tires. I was watching before that. I was watch, I watched Our Family Nest, but daily, the usual uh, uh, group of uh, uh, vlogs. I saw. Uh, I, 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 I watch or follow. And same thing with Clintus TV. It, it, it's these are nice, relaxing shows. Um, good character interaction. So, they're enjoyable. 
My body is a little is starting to get a little tired. I I, I actually did take. I actually went to went to I went to bed around. Uh, let's see. I, I last talked to you guys around two o'clock in the afternoon, two thirty. Uh, by the time I got everything done and finished and e finished eating, it was uh, close to uh, oh two hours later, so two six six thirty, and the fati the muscle fatigue, the soreness started to kick in. Uh, um. I'm somewhat better, but I got up around 10 o'clock to have something to eat and <coughs> to do some work here. So, um, there are some interesting uh, physiological issues that I'm going to be discussing uh, probably Thursday or Friday, depending on how things go. Uh, this includes uh, uh, when the body is exhausted. A flu-like symptoms, uh, stuffy nose, and a cough that appear uh, less than twelve hours. They're there for less than twelve, and it's only when I'm hungry. After I've had something to eat, then this issue resolves itself. Now the question is, what is it? Could we see? It could be allergies. It could be you know. Just the momentary allergies, but it uh, it also could be uh, a very brief uh, infection due to the body's fatigue, which lowers the immune system. So, uh, but as the body has food in it, as the body begins to recover, the immune system begins to recover, and this uh, allows for uh, the body to begin fighting the infection again. And so, it's only a brief little. Uh, sort of uh, uh, event, you know, a physiological event that occurs. So, anyways, uh, I am tired. I'm, I'm actually, I'm slurring my, my words. I'm, and this, this, this is what fatigue is. Fatigue does make you look like you're drunk, Make does make you look like you're high, or, you know, this, it, it does impair your, your reaction times. It's, it's so, it is, in many ways, like being intoxicated. So, I just wanted to drop a note and let you see that this is what's happening here, what's going on. Uh, I have, um, tomorrow and, th yeah, yeah, well, not tomorrow, tomorrow, when I get up again later on on Wednesday, probably around between 8 and uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I might be waiting for delivery. The camera should be coming. It's in transit. Uh, it will be here either tomorrow or Thursday. I'm not really too sure which is going to be, but so I have to sort of stay here and wait for uh, delivery. And usually the delivery is sometime before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's going to be between 8 and 2, uh, just kind of uh, waiting for a delivery. Anyhow, uh, and that'll, that'll be the same thing on Thursday as well. So anyhow, I'm going to leave that here for now. I'm going to finish watching uh, some more of my IP, IPTV, and then I'll probably end up going back to bed again by by 5 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, so that's it, 3, 3, 3.20 now, another hour and a half or so like that, you know, because this would be 3.20, 3, uh, 4.20 is an hour. Add another 10 minutes to it. This uh, 4.30. Another half hour. So basically an hour and 40 minutes. So. Uh, I'll see you. Maybe when I go to bed. Well, so maybe I'll see if, if, I, if I'm up to vlogging uh, right before I go to bed. And we'll see what happens there. Alright. Take it easy. Uh, good morning, everybody. Yeah. Vlogging as is one take. No editing. <sighs> Leaves a lot to be desired. It's not for everybody. But uh, you do what you can and when you can. So, anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp. 
it is 23 hours and 54 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, April 5th, April 6th, sorry about that, Wednesday, April 6th, 2016, yeah, uh, I decided to get up, I was sleeping, uh, my muscle fatigue came back again, as I said, usually within uh, 24 to 48 hours, the full uh, weight of the walk hits, and it lays you out, and uh, uh, so it's not immediate. It, it, there, there's a gradual uh, inc increase in uh, in pain as you move away from the event, and this is has to do with one the adrenaline coming off, and two the amount of damage done that the body has to now repair, and uh, it could take it could take up to uh, you know another day or so before the body starts feeling good again uh, but the muscle repair uh, also has to uh, be there as well and this is where you gotta you know balance your foods out uh, and I realized that uh, uh, a while ago uh, my diet didn't have enough uh, carbohydrates the, com the complex carbohydrates the uh, starches in it not so I've increased the number of amount of uh, bread, potatoes, and um, uh, starchy vegetables that I that I wasn't having before. Uh, I've increased that now, and things seem to be returning to somewhat normal. But it should take me uh, a couple of months before I know uh, with this, if this new diet's going to work. But at the same time, as the, as the weather warms up, I'm going to have to switch my diet again to uh, just sort of uh, watch the carbohydrate level because well the carbohydrate levels are needed in colder weather because they're burnt off faster. In warmer weather, and in, in particularly hot weather, uh, they're not burnt off at all and <laughs> are very, 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 uh, in a very limited fashion. And uh, because your body doesn't need to produce the heat it does, and the opposite uh, condition is true, is you need to cool your body. Uh, then you... Uh, sh Mm. should tend to, to reduce, not eliminate, but reduce your carbohydrate intake. And this is, I'm talking about the complex car carbohydrates. The polysaccharides, let's uh, sort of, let's just, is, it, it, I'll, so I'll have to say this enough because I know people uh, don't always watch it all the way through or they're watching bits and pieces of it and they don't remember back to the end. So when I talk about carbohydrates, I will I'll just say carbohydrates uh, complex sugars or, or, or polysaccharides, those are the starches and flours. I'll remind you of these things because um, uh, not everyone watch, watching or, or is up to speed. And as if this is the case, I want to make sure that the information is accessible to everybody. As you can see, that my from the state of my eyes, that they're rarely open, um, or barely open. Uh, The fatigue is still very strong, but I do need something to eat. I do need to uh, uh, add more fluids to the system, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, how long I'm up for? I'm not really too sure. I will. I do have some some work to do here now. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that done. Uh, so, anyways, uh, oh yeah, about the, about the fatigue. It is a complex process, if you anyone who knows about vlogging, to get your words correctly when you're on air like this, when you're live, and particularly unedited, unedited and unscripted. When you watch somebody on air, particularly like a, a TV news anchor or something like that, there's a script there. The script has been written, and they're reading from a script. When you're doing something like this, there is no script. You're thinking of the ideas as they come along and more often than not what happens is that you get uh, uh, particularly when, you, the, when you're when you tired your grammar falls off um, your clarity of speech falls off this is uh, uh, the mumbling the uh, missed words or the words that don't come out properly this is all these are all issues of fatigue and uh, it, it, it is and speaking does 
take a certain degree of energy and if the energy isn't there then it suffers so anyways um, I'm gonna leave it here for now and uh, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theories Big Bang Theory Rails uh, BTS vlog alright take it easy Well, welcome to the new camera. <laughs> That's a definite thing here. Um, I'm give you a time and date stamp. It is uh, 17 hours and 22 minutes into Thursday, April 7th, 2016. Uh, I think maybe I missed one vlogging segment. Uh, I can't remember when that was. I seen for uh, I know I missed uh, when I first got up today, uh, which is around uh, eight o'clock in the morning. I finally got up and started waiting for the delivery for the camera to come. But it wasn't until uh, it didn't come until about noon. Yeah, noon, uh, twelve thirty-one o'clock. That's when it came, uh, finally came. And then by 2 o'clock, I was uh, getting sore enough, so I went and ended up going back to bed. That's kind of what happened. Ugh. And now I'm up again to uh, go to dinner with my parents. Uh, and we'll see what will happen with the rest of the day, or, or, or might, might take a down day today to sort of uh, rest up a little bit more. Because I do have to go food shopping again. I remember I said I wanted to sort of split the... Uh, the shopping up so I'm not carrying as much back on um uh, carrying as much back <clears throat> carrying as much back on my back uh, as I had been. That that was that was kind of sort of uh, not what happened uh, on Tuesday because. One of the extra, uh, one of the uh, extra, uh, one of the items I got, even though it was a small load, the items were heavier. And the result was that the backpack, instead of being lighter, ended up being heavier. So, uh, we'll end up seeing what, we'll, we'll end up seeing, we'll have to see what happens on Friday. Uh, I've got a list uh, that could potentially add a significant amount of weight to the bag, but uh, we'll, we'll end up seeing what happens. So that's, a, that's about it. Um, Eating-wise, um, actually, uh, of my, my proteins now are less than the carbohydrates, so my the ratio of, of carbohydrates to the ratio is now carbohydrates to uh, uh, sorry carbohydrates to uh, proteins because the carbohydrates are in excess of the proteins, so they're larger than the proteins. The amount of carbohydrates that I have, uh, the liquids uh, I seem to have measured out that uh, I'm having a minimum of two liters of water a day, and that's in addition to all the other. This addition to but another two liters. Worth of fluids. So I'm having about four liters worth of fluids all today. Half of that being water. So that's, you know, in terms of I I noticed this. I I actually would <clears throat> sorry. Multiple things jumbled up in my mind. One of the indications I know once I started this sort of liquid diet where the liquids are in excess of the solids. What I began re realizing is that a lot of times when you have chapped lips and other uh, moisture issues with the dry skin issues. A lot of it has to do with the amount of water, the water the, not, not only the amount of water you have, but the amount of fluids that you're taking in. As my fluid, as I brought my fluid levels up, and I brought my fluid levels up based on how my body was feeling in terms of the fatigue, in terms of a lot of different issues. And I noticed as, my, but as I had the, uh, drank the water, it increased the water, that I felt better and better in terms of digestive issue in terms of uh, 
how my mind was feeling, how, how sluggish I was feeling. Uh, then I also began to notice that when I hydrated, particularly, uh, the uh, skin dryness issues left as well. The, 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 I had um, uh, uh, drying issues. The, the, there was the uh, uh, cracking and uh, other type of issues in term, with with my skin. But the, when when I hydrated, things were fine. Things got better. This included chap lips. The, the, uh, the uh, I had chap lips before, particularly during the winter. And when I began hydrating, now the, the, the brought the hydration levels up the, you know, to where it, where it is now. Um, the the uh, chap lips disappeared. And I know now when I'm when, when my lip, lips start getting chapped, they start getting dry. And I wake up like this in the morning. Uh, that uh, I need to hydrate. I need to have more, another glass of water. So uh, that's what I do. And it's as it is. It's been the improvement has been significant. Now the other issues that I have to sort of work on is um, um, making sure that the carbohydrates, the great hydrates, are not over. Don't uh, don't go too far. Um, I noticed this car. The, the car. I noticed the carbohydrates uh, issue. Uh, when I was examining my muscles and began to notice that the amount of fat on my muscles was starting to um, uh, fall off and it fell off, they, they had, it had fallen off too far. And I realized that uh, because it had fallen, what, what was happening, that when it was falling off too far, that I didn't have enough carbohydrates. Carbohydrates help you build your bulk in your muscle. It, 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 it provides a lot of the padding and barrier. Uh, to the body steps of the tricep and the, in, in the various different muscle muscle groups, and so what happens is when you are uh, when you're too far off the uh, carbohydrate mark, uh, yeah, it looks lean, but that's a problem because there's not enough carbohydrates there uh, to balance out the, the to product provide a proper balance between the fat layers of the skin. And the muscle itself, so, and that way you end, up, you end up being you end up being too lean, and that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. For, it's not good for your kidneys. It's not good for uh, a number of different organs in your body. So, uh, it has to be corrected. Um, so that's where we are now. Uh, I don't know how things are going to go after I eat. Uh, I, I am feeling still fatigued, uh, which is pretty much uh, what I expect because I don't feel the pain anymore but I just feel the fatigue my body does want to sleep and so I might come back and do just that I might just come back and sleep or I might stay up and do some work I have no idea what I'm going to do when I get back I'll see how I uh, actually feel so that being the case, I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog, the uh, Big Bang Theory BTS vlog. Welcome to the new camera. There's still some fixing up I have to do, but otherwise, yay. We'll see how this ends up going uh, when I get it onto the editing and the final episode comes out. We'll, that will be the final test. Alrighty, take it easy and see you in the next segment. Here at 
Democratic Earth. Earth.